You hope to get three, four, five of them, but to get all of them, that's a bit much to ask, but that was a great shot. This time to the left. Hitting the head pin with that first ball is the name of the game. He's shooting his third, and it's still standing, and it still stands. Eight box for Mike Morgan, 99 through eight. Paul Berger working on a spare in the sixth, already at 89. Oh, another big first ball. This time he leaves a solid six pin. Well, the last three times on lane 32, he's had two strikes and a solid nine pin drop. Oh. No, Paul went down to his knees to try and hang on, but it just slipped by to the left. Paul and his wife, uh, Paula, have two sons, Damon and Alex. Paul works for Sun Microsystems as a new products manager. There's a lot of his bowling at Metro West in Framingham and Fico's in Franklin, Mass. And now he's shooting at the 1-2-10. Trying to take advantage of those two open frames by his opponent. Can't do it. Well, he can gain a couple in count. He's opposite an eight frame, leading by 17, 18 now. And this will make it 19. There's the picture. The winner to move into the finals next week against Fred Ranella. The runner-up today takes home third place prize money, $250. Mike is back on the head pin. Well, that time he got the head pin. He missed the previous two boxes, not that time. A little skip there. Much like he did in the strike in the last frame last week. It's just enough to take a little bit off the ball. Instead of going flush in the head pin, crosses over in the 1-2. And he likes the result. First strike of the day for Michael. Looking for another one, a little lighter this time. Leaves the 3-6. Three, 3-6 six. Three, six and careful, drive this wood straight back. And Didn't no. Have, the 3-pin wasn't covered enough with that wood to, to have him use it for the 6-pin. The result is a 9 on the strike. And a 10 box is a one decent 128. He'll be trailing. How many? Well, let's see what Paul does in his ninth and tenth frames. Let's put his hands up. He's. What are you going to do? If I went any lower in the wood, it might have snapped around, left both pins standing. Paul Berger off target to the left. No, oh, yes. but he converts it with a spare. Just barely touches the head pin on the 1-3 pocket. Watch the head pin go to the sidewall, come back, and take out the 8 pin. Great shot by Paul. 128 to 9. Bonus ball coming. He was fortunate there to get 6. Punching through the middle. And a makeable spare. Now with that wood coming up behind the th 2 pin, he can drive the 3 straight back. The wood should kick forward. It did, but he missed the 3 pin. Paul can knock down these two. He will not have left one pin standing the first frame, first game. And I <laughs> jinxed him. And there's the nine box. <laughs> 143 and a 15 pin advantage for Paul Berger. One game in the books. Two to go, semifinal week on Stars and Strikes. Don't go away. A little bit later on in the hour, $30 in our bonus ball contest. Of course, a couple of sets of brand-new bowling balls from Paramount Industries in Medway, Mass., also on the line. But in order to win, you've got to send us your postcard. And make sure you include on your postcard your name, your full address, and the number from 1 to 10. That number is the number of pins you think will drop on the bonus ball at the end of the show. And you've got to mail those postcards into Park Place Lanes, Route 28, Wyndham, New Hampshire, 0308. Seven. We draw your card and it matches the pinfall. You win the money in the jackpot, plus you and the bowler will each win a brand new set of bowling balls.
Paul Berger now. 15 pins to the good after one game. Oh, great, great shot. I thought he had that covered. The one, three, six, four, seven played in the inside. Ball took the four, seven, as well as the head pin. Just the six, and he clears that one away. Let's the ball deflect off the head pin. And everything <laughs> around the six. Oh, comes back with a strike. That's Paul's third strike already. Mike Morgan has one. He got it right at the trail end of the first game. That time he's a little too heavy on the head pin and he'll shoot six, seven, ten with wood that wood flying around though this could be interesting let's see no leaving the 10 pin I have to think he hit it where he wanted to just need a little more help for the 10 pin takes it Last week, Mike opened up with a 168. Another difficult one, six, seven, and the four pin. A couple ways, either wood on either side, he's gonna try to snap it. Nope, didn't get far enough to the left. This is what he ran into last week, the second and third games. He started splitting the pins and not getting them together after that first ball and really struggled the rest of the match. But he opened with that big 168. Paul Berger now increases lead, working on a strike. Ball started and then the wood started rolling again toward the 6-10 and now it settled in just behind the 6 moving away again Paul has to wait that's both bowlers they hate this weight <laughs> you know, you're all set to go you just threw a decent ball you just want to keep going Looked like he was a little heavy on the six pin, but it was enough to carry the six and the ten for the spare on strike. And he's off and running again, second game. This time a little light. Hang on. <laughs> Eight pin drop, three nine left. And help on both sides. Right there. I think he might have got those two pins without the help of the wood. Three in a row again for Paul Berger. Didn't say again. Had a couple in a row, twice in the first game. This time three in a row in the second. Oh. Oh. Big first ball strike, Mike Morgan. I was going to say, how can that seven pin possibly stand up after throwing a ball like that? There goes nine of them in a hurry. The head pin that came off and tapped the seven. Looking for two in a row over on lane 31 love to go to a break with a double strike working it's pretty good oh yes double strike for mike morgan and we will take a timeout. there you go when we come back paul berger works on a spare and mike morgan will work on a double strike don't go away